Eight hundred values for your every human being, the greatest creator and the way of the greatest creator. Sixty-six to eighty-five. Sixty-six. All the life can be called a life of spiritualism as long as it takes the reverence for the greatest creator as its belief, perceives the profundity of the Taoist soul, pursues supreme authentic wisdom, and tries hard to achieve the highest realm of life. If you want to attain the life of spiritualism. You must listen to the teachings of Jesus Christ and march toward the way of the greatest Creator by following Jesus' instructions. Sixty-seven. Why should we take the way of the greatest Creator? Because we can get to any other spot, space only by the way of the greatest Creator. Without the greatest Creator, we can only circle in a certain space and can never get to any other space. The way of the greatest Creator is the road of happiness, joyfulness. Freedom and blessing. You are to keep a peaceful and rejoicing in the mind, no matter whether you are in a favorable circumstance or in the adversity, in the face of desperation or death. You must be convinced that the greatest Creator is perceptive of the slightest errors and is definite about punishments and rewards. You should be brave to have the greatest Creator take charge of your life and have the Tao manage your life. Sixty-nine. All things created by the greatest Creator are arranged in clearly defined layers. As long as we obey the arrangement of the greatest Creator, strictly adhere to our duty and behavior, and move forward following the track of human nature, we will have an unregretful life, no matter whether we are in favorable circumstances or adversity, and whether we are in bright or dark situations. Seventy. Even God, Buddha, or celestial beings, or monsters, demons, and goblins are powerless before the greatest Creator. So, on the road of our life and the life, everything will give way to us and cannot hurt us as well as we cling tightly to the hand of the greatest Creator. Seventy-one. The greatest Creator does not decide a man's destiny. Everyone's destiny is in the final analysis brought about by himself. The destiny is the result of man's consciousness. Seventy-two. Understanding things is not for the sole purpose of appreciating them and living harmoniously with them. What is more important is to make use of them to serve us as, and broaden the scope of our free activity to the greatest extent. Following the way of the greatest Creator is not to endure hardships and sufferings, but to enjoy life, enjoy life, and obtain more happiness and pleasure. Seventy-three, the most equitable thing in the universe is the Tao of the Greatest Creator, which is perceptive of everything and meticulous conducts punishments and rewards. We can reflect calmly on the reason why we are born into this world. All this can be called the combination of predestined relations and commerce. Everything seems to be in disorder. Everything seems to be a contingent arrangement. Actually, everything before us is caused by our former words and actions, karma. No matter whether we're in favorable circumstances or in adversity, and no matter whether we are happy or afflicted with sufferings, the results we have obtained are brought about by the former causes, including the causes of the former life or pre-existence. Seventy-four. The way of the greatest creator has eight connotations. One, the universe is the product of the greatest creator. Two, everything comes into being as a result of creation. Three, everything operates in the consciousness, the way of the greatest creator. Four, exhibit one's nature and act in accordance with the law of nature. Five, revere and emulate the greatest creator. Six, reality is the portraiture of the respective free consciousness, consciousness of different life forms. Seven happiness, joyfulness, freedom, blessing, and the theme of the life. Eight everything is a game. Seventy-five great love is like the mountain, and great love is wordless. The greatest of creators' love for us is constant and eternal. The greatest creators' love for us has never been expressed in language. If conditions should be attached to love, if love should be expressed in words, if love should be repaid. Then such love can be only called small love instead of great love. Seventy-six. 
Why should we revere the greatest creator? The greatest creator is the supreme king sovereignty of the universe, the creator of life, and the guardian of the equity and order. Without the greatest creator, there would be no universe. Without the greatest creator, there would be no mankind. Without the greatest creator, there would be no God and Buddha. So, can we not feel awe and respect? Only if we feel the awe, will we hold our desire properly in check. Only if we feel awe, can we obey the objective law and the model after nature. Only if we feel awe, can we understand that there are divin- divinities watching over us, so that we dare not harbor evil ideas and conduct misdeeds. Only if we feel awe, can we live in harmony with everything, beings, and nature, instead of doing whatever we want to do. And butchering beings, awe and respect derive from a feeling of gratitude, humility, the passionate love for life, and the heartfelt esteem for the Creator and the Governor. Seventy-seven. If we don't follow the way of the greatest Creator, we cannot solve the issue of survival. If we don't sublimate the quality of life, there could not be excellent survival. Seventy-eight. The way of the greatest creator is neither private ownership nor public ownership, but non-ownership, in which the resources are not occupied by any individual, but publicly shared. Everyone gets what he needs and does not occupy any hoard. Only in this way can the human world become an ideal land, and can the beautiful dreams of mankind be realized. Seventy-nine. Man proposes and God disposes. That is to say, one's success in achieving something and realizing certain wish and ideal relies on 30% individual diligence and 70% natural environment. And the natural environment in this scheme is the greatest creator, the Tao, the program, the good timing, geographical convenience and harmonious human relations, and the nature. Human wisdom is very limited. And human endeavor is also very limited. If time and geographical position are not favorable, you may achieve nothing, no matter how much effort you make. Eighty, follow the way of the greatest creator. You can disengage yourself from the apathy of misery and arrive directly at the most ideal realm of life. Follow the way of the greatest creator. You can connect a region of the universe and enjoy the pleasure of life any time. Follow the way of the greatest creator. You can shake off the bondage of time and space, and let your thinking and consciousness racing freely across the unlimited universe. Follow the way of the greatest creator. You can accumulate your merits and virtues. You can pay back all your debts of numerous generations. You will have a limpid mind and clear consciousness, and then realize your dream. Eighty one. Following the way of the greatest creator is most convenient, simple, direct, and most effective. By following the way of the greatest creator, you can dispense with all the taboos. You need not immerse yourself every day in the research and exploration of Tao, virtue, benevolence, righteousness, courtesy, wisdom, credibility, and art. You need not chant scriptures and pray every day. You need not go to a great lens to cultivate special medical power and arts. You need not chat all the way to make inquiries about enlightenment. And you need not engage in harem. All you need is to model after nature. Eighty-two, the way of the greatest creator is the way of nature. Everything comes about naturally. It is against the top nature to expect to obtain something and achieve something eagerly. Success will come when conditions are ripe. This is what is meant by nature. Force and compulsion are against nature. Conscious effort should be combined with adherence to the cause of nature. Without conscious effort, we can only circle at the original spot and cannot work out of the bewilderment and the 36-8 diagram arrays. Without an attitude and a state of mind that adhere to the cause of nature, we will certainly feel anxious. We will contend. We will be hasty in action, and our eagerness for success will backfire. Backfire, and what we can get may only be the opposite of what we have wished. Eighty-three. For five thousand years, man has had only a smattering of knowledge of the greatest Creator. If we do not have a correct and relatively complete understanding of the greatest Creator, we cannot feel awe and reverence for Him. Without awe and reverence for the greatest Creator, our life as an individual will be perplexed and doleful. The human society as a whole will not be able to eliminate the hidden troubles and establish an 
auspicious and peaceful vital force in harmony with nature. If an individual wants to have a perfect life, he has only one way: the way of the greatest creator. If the whole society was to keep itself from going astray, it has only one way to follow the way of the greatest creator. To follow the way of the greatest creator, we should distinguish the greatest creator from God. The greatest creator is the greatest creator, and God is God. We cannot confuse God with the greatest creator. The greatest creator is exclusive, but there are many different gods. Jesus is God, but He has instructed us in Definite terms to execute the order of the heavenly Father, the greatest Creator. Therefore, following the way of the greatest Creator completely conforms to the teachings and the will of Jesus. Thus, we must be our guard and prevent ourselves from going astray when someone instructs us to follow the way of God and listen to the teachings of God. Because even Satan is also a god. Of course, neither should we follow the way of Buddha. The way of celestial beings, the way of men, and the way of demons. Eighty-four, the way of the greatest creator is profound and intensive. It has extremely rich connotations and extensions. It transcends time and space and governs everything in the universe. It is so extensive that there is no exterior, and it can be so narrow that there is no interior. It operates everything and decides the universe. It is the way of light. The way of creation, the way of life, the way of love, the way of freedom, the way of happiness, the way of magic, and the way of holographic order. Eighty-five. The greatest creator is love, sincerity, kindness, beauty, faith, and honesty. Its happiness, joyfulness, freedom, and blessing. So we should emulate the greatest creator. The greatest creator, as what it is called, is also a wonderful creator. So we should emulate the greatest creator and engage in labor and creation, and derive pleasure from labor and creation. The greatest creator pursues also unselfish dedication. We can derive happiness from unselfish dedication.